Hi everyone, it's Rick here from the Game Creators. So we're going to finish off our simple shooter. We're in the project now in main.agc. We're going to add some star effects and put some text onto the screen. Okay, so two new areas for you to know about. So uh, I've already uh, hash included text.agc and this is this file here. So what does this do? Well, it creates a text object text object number one and within the text it's the text score colon space and then str of score what does that mean well it takes the value of score and converts it into a string so if a score was zero you would have score colon space and then a zero and then you can set the text size text number one and the size of it and its position so text one is position zero zero which is the top left of the screen so that's the make, make text uh, loop. If we go back to the main.agc, we, um, we included the new file there. Okay, we go to make text there. And um, yeah, that should put the, um, the text onto the screen. So let's try that out. There we have score colon space zero, shoot the enemy, it changes to 10. Now it's using a, an old sort of font system we had in the app game kit for some time and that's just the default. We've got a command here called use new default fonts. Just use that and you get lovely true type fonts. You can see the, the score is now much improved. And we've got commands that allow you to load in your own fonts um, so you can make your display just the way you want it to be. Okay, let's look at these styles now. So again, um, I've got hash include styles.agc. Let's have a look at that part of the source code. Um, what does this do? All right, there's two parts to it. Make styles and move styles. So what I'm doing is I'm going to create image color. Okay, so image number five is made as a color. 255, 255, 255. So RGB values those are and that means it's going to be white and the transparency um, well it has no transparency it just it is a full color so it creates image number five as a as a white block and then it runs through a hundred uh, loops so for i equals one to a hundred and it creates a hundred sprites okay so i is starts as one but we're starting with sprite five plus one so sprite number six and we're using image 5 which is the white block and then we set the uh, size of that sprite 2 by 2 so it's quite small and then we set the position of that sprite at a random location in the X and in the Y and that will give us a good sort of like range of, of stars so there's a hundred stars and then we've got to move those stars every frame so again we have a little loop here for I equals 1 to 100 um, star Y is the Y position of the particular star we're looking at plus one okay and if star Y is greater than size of the screen or the height of the screen then reset it to zero end if and then set position of the sprite with its current X position and the new star Y okay so two parts make stars and it returns from there and move stars which when they've moved it, it returns from there. So let's go back to main.agc and see where they're called. So make stars is going to be called here on the setup. Okay, so before that we had the loader. We've got make stars, make text, uh, load sounds. This is all setup stuff. Uh, we've got some music we're going to load in a moment. And then we're going to do loop. Now if we don't call move stars, let's just run it and see what happens. See the stars are there, but they're not moving. Yeah? So it's still the same game. So let's call move stars. And now our stars are moving. Very simple uh, and quite effective. And another thing you could do, I'm just uh, thinking that off the top of my head, you could call it twice, and obviously you'll get the stars moving twice as fast. Now there's more than one way to do that. You can obviously call it twice 
what takes longer to process. Um, go back to stars, and you could just add two, like so. Yeah, and again, if you did four, you get a different result. Much faster stars. Uh, you could even do a random number, okay, between say one and four. I think that's how it works. Oh, not broadcast, run. And then they're all jiggling around. So each one's having a random value added to it. Um, so there's lots you can do. Anyway, that's, I was just gonna do two. Two is quite good. So, uh, yeah, then there's go to upload music. Let's see what that does. That's in the sound file. Okay, sounds.adc. So we've got load music and I went to a website called Ben Sound. Um, I'll post the link to his website. He does free sound as long as you uh, give him a credit. And I'm, it's a, I converted it to OG format. And OG is compressed music. It's a bit like uh, MP3, but there's no license attached to it. So you can load music OG, the file name of the music, and then you can just play the music. Because when we load it, we get a, we get an ID number. We put that into music, then we just play the music. Let's try the game. You can hear the music. Should move my ship around a bit. And so on. And that's our shooter. Do you know, I think... Tomorrow I'm going to make the enemy shoot at me. I think that would be interesting. And then we'll consider the game sort of completed. Because then we can restart the game and get a high score. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that. Please subscribe. Ask questions if you want. Uh, we're here to help. We're trying to make App Game Kit an amazing product. And we're trying to educate you on how to use it. Obviously you can do what you want with a programming language. You're not restricted to set m movements or behaviours. You've got the whole control. You just need to learn the language in which you program. Okay, have a great time. Enjoy. See you next time.